The Massachusetts Water Resources Authority held a ribbon-cutting ceremony on October 4th near the Elliott Elementary School to celebrate the opening of the Sudbury Aqueduct Trail in Needham and Wellesley. It is part of the MWRA Aqueduct Trails program, which partnered with Needham to open the space to the public. Now the town will maintain the MWRA-owned trail. Here's a look at the event. The Sudbury Aqueduct uh, was one of the major sources of water for the city of Boston for you know, more than 100 years. Um, you know, in the 30s and 40s when the Quabbin uh, Reservoir was built, that superseded these. So these are backup aqueducts at this point, and they were used during the great uh, water break. But other than that, hasn't been used in uh, probably close to 25 years. Uh, so, you know, these, this is a resource that runs through our towns, and what we're doing today is basically opening the doors to the public to walk these trails, to uh, ride these trails, to enjoy this uh, public space because it's their land. I just think it's great for people to get outdoors, to check out the wildlife. This trail especially is different because the base, unlike the rail trail that we have uh, near Dover, is gravel based, but this is a natural base, so you really can see the wildlife and the grass and the surroundings that is a little different than that trail. Uh, both are exceptional, uh, but this allows people to get outside, bike, see different parts of Needham they may not otherwise see, and get connected. The Sudbury Aqueduct actually goes from uh, basically Boston College all the way out to uh, Framingham. Uh, the section that is now open goes from uh, uh, Newton, Wabin Arches, uh, to Cottage Street in Natick, so may maybe close to eight, nine miles. The uh, trails now on the aqueducts uh, a really great opportunity, and not just for individuals and for recreation, but for the communities that these trails pass through. Uh, it's important for quality of life, it's important for the character of the communities, and a real asset going forward. Uh, that trails like this will be available to, uh, to folks to use. And uh, it's also an educational asset. Strongly believe that the folks here at the Elliott School will be out using trails like this, using the outdoors. Really important to uh, get out and experience uh, things like this. As we grow and develop as, you know, as communities, uh, you know, more and more density, more and more um, kind of crowdedness, you know, across the metro region, you know, these are ribbons of green that cut across um, and that provide, uh, you know, a, an amazing resource for people who want to enjoy nature, not having to travel someplace, but just right outside their back door. I want to say thanks to everyone who made this happen. It was a true partnership, you know, uh, from the town employees and staff to the MWRA. It's been a great, great, successful venture.